Hi, this is Kevin with Let Me Tech You. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to build an Azure um, custom role definition using the AZCAF enterprise scale. So if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I've been using this module to deploy a lot of resources um, using uh, this module built by um, some people over at Microsoft. So if you can, you know, like and subscribe. If you have any questions in regards to what I'm going to go over in this video, shoot me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. So when building or setting permissions for people in Azure, a lot of times, um, a lot of the built-in roles may not have the least restrictive uh, permissions or things like that, that you would want for your uh, users to be assigned to. And to do that, uh, you would have to, if you want to restrict it down a little more or combine certain roles, um, permissions, you got to go ahead and build your own custom policies, um, roles. So in my um, previous videos, we were setting up this Azure CAF Enterprise um, Scale folder. And so in my uh, core um, folder here, there's going to be a lib directory um, that we set up. And basically what this does is it has like the... Uh, Azure policy definitions, assignments, and everything like that. And a lot of that can, I'll put some uh, info in the description down below around what all of this is for. But basically, underneath role definitions, these are just JSON files of the um, permissions that you want to assign or a set to be uh, applied at the particular scope that you define. So with role definitions, how that works is there's a, you know, you're going to give it a name, description, um, the type's going to be custom role. And the great thing about this is we can actually take these and copy them and just apply the permissions that we need. So you're going to see a couple different sections here. So you got actions, not actions, then you got data actions and not data actions. So these two here up here, um, basically define what you can do at the control plane and then here down at the data plane. So the actions are basically, hey, these are the actions that I want you to um, be able to perform. And then the not actions are basically ones that can be subtracted from the actions. So let's say you have a, um, you know, an action of everything, but then the not actions, it might just be easier to subtract out what you don't want them to do versus giving them having to define all the actions of what um, they would want to do. So you can see this is an application owner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build one and, and go through that whole process there. So inside of Azure, so I'm going to pull that up here. If we go into the portal and at our management group scope, if I click on here and I go to access control and then roles, you're going to see your roles in here once they get built for various different things. You'll be able to edit the custom ones or you can clone ones and edit them in the portal. But to keep it all within Terraform, let's go ahead and create one that's only going to be one to allow someone to create and edit virtual networks. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one here. And we're going to paste this in here. And I'm going to call this. Uh, let's remove some of these lines here. So we're going to call it virtual network contributor. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change some of this. So for the name, this needs to be a GUID um, um, so that it's unique. So what I usually typically do is I'll just go online and find a GUID generator. And just go here, hit generate some GUIs. I'll copy this. And then I'll paste that up here so that it's unique. Clear all this out. Now for the API um, version, this is just the RBAC API for the uh, REST API that's used to um, build your Azure policy. So these are the preview ones. Um, I usually try to go with, with the ones that's at least GA. So if you want to find what's the latest one of that is, just go um, open up 
and just go Azure REST API. Should be able to get the latest one. Here we go. So the latest one is the 2022 401. So you see here are the preview ones and these ones are just basically for release to test new functionality, um, discover and fix issues. So let's just go with one of these stable ones here. All right, and then for the role name, this is the role name that gets shown in the portal. So if we go back here, this is gonna be the name that gets showed up here. So if you're using this Azure um, CAF Enterprise Scale module, it's also gonna append the um, uh, three letter um, acronym uh, to your name. So I'll, I'll show you that here. So if we go into the settings.core, this, uh, where is it at? The uh, var the root ID gets added to your particular um, name. So go back in here, and we're, so we're just gonna call this virtual network contributor. And then let's give this a description. This role allows for users to be able to read, write, and delete virtual networks. And the type's gonna be custom role. So we're gonna keep that the same. So now for the permissions, um, we're actually going to uh, have remove the not actions. And we're just gonna give it the permissions that it needs. So if you need help figuring out what permission something is, typically you can kind of Google uh, that particular uh, action that you're trying to do. So, you know, virtual, you know, Azure network permissions. So we see a create change or delete an Azure virtual network. So typically they might have permissions down at the bottom somewhere or in here, you'll usually get what's needed. So let's see, so permissions. So to perform a task on a virtual network account must be assigned to the network contributor role or to a custom role that is assigned the appropriate actions listed in the following table. So we need read, we need write, and we need delete. So for actions, we're gonna need, let's add our, so read, comma, we need write, comma, and then delete. Okay, so now that we got that set, so now for this role name, we need to assign this to a particular scope. So this can be either a resource group, this could be a subscription, this could be a particular uh, management group. And so this is what actually um, uh, sets it to where it can be uh, applied at. So the role definition um, creates it, and then you assign it to a scope, and then that allows you to uh, create assignments to whether you're adding it to a particular user or group. So that's done outside of here, whether you're doing that in Terraform or in the portal. So we're gonna take this name called Virtual Network Contributor, and I'm gonna go into my settings.core, or actually my, uh, let's go back up here, archetype definitions, and I'm gonna assign it at the root level. So these archetype definitions are, um, if you looked at my previous videos, what defines what gets applied to your particular management groups um, that you build um, using this template. So as you can see here, there's a role definitions section. You basically just take the name and you add that in there. So now if I do a Terraform plan, we should now see that there's gonna be one uh, new custom role that's gonna be built. So this two to add, don't worry about that. Uh, that just gets to uh, that just this uh, this time dot sleep that gets created and forces a, a replacement. 
So see here, now this is the name, like I was mentioning that LMTY, which is the root ID gets uh, appended to that. It's a good way to actually, you know, also see what's been built by this particular module. Um, the resource ID gets known after apply, and then the scope is at this management group level, which if we go back into our management groups, that's this level here. So we could have assigned this down at a different level, depending on what archetype ID we uh, we use here, whether it's default empty, connectivity, and then also that's gonna depend on what you actually append to your archetype ID at those levels. So let's go ahead and apply that. And auto approve. So now that that's going through there, typically these build fairly quick, so you should be able to go into the portal and start to see that those are being created. So we see the creation process complete. So now if we go back into our management group under access control and roles, we should see that come in. There we go. So LMTY virtual network contributor. So this role allows for users to be able to read, write, and delete virtual networks. It's a custom role. And if we go ahead and click this again, now we have the option to edit, delete, or clone. If we edit it, we can now see that these are the permissions we applied. The assignable scope is at this management group level. That's the JSON. So you can see that we apply these particular actions. And now this is uh, something that's able to be um, assigned to you know a user. So if we you know add, oops, not custom role. I'm gonna, add a role assignment, we can then say, hey, I want to add this to select members, whoever it be, and then review and assign. And that's going to give that user the permission to do what's needed. So that's it there. Again, um, really easy to build the role definitions. Uh, if you do want to actually do the assignments via Terraform or some way of uh, automating that, I'll do a video on that as well. But if you have any questions in regards to what I just went over today, um, please drop a comment down below. I can definitely go into deeper uh, context um, in the comments down below on any questions you may have. Again, if this helped you out, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. I'll be doing more videos around role definitions, the Azure CAF Enterprise Scale deployment, and everything around that. Again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.